Good afternoon, folks. This is New Year's Eve. And I want to sculpt. I want to make something. I painted this tree earlier today. Um, with the court paint. And I filmed it. So I will have a tutorial on that soon. And, uh, yeah. So... We're going to make something, I'm not sure yet what, but we'll see. I want to make something small, though. I've got my air dry clay from Amico today. I'm going to roll a ball off screen because there's not a lot of room on the set. I have a little ball here. I'm going to roll it to and fro, so it's like this. I've got a little piece of cardboard here from a cut out from a paper plate. And I think what I'm going to do is make a little fairy house. I think that would be fun. So, let me see if I can get this down here a little bit so you can see it better. I've got this little form and I, if I pinch the, uh, the clay a little bit like this Um, I can kind of make it, the top come up like that. I'm just trying to think, I'm not sure, you know, when sculpting, you know, you start to get, you, when you're sculpting or you're a sculptor, you, you, sometimes you just create as you go. It's kind of um, hard to explain unless you actually have experience with it. That sort of thing. I rolled a new little clay here. And I'm going to wrap it around here. Like this. And that's going to... I see that my camera is not focusing that well. It's, oh, here it comes. It seems to be all right now. I'm going to blend it in at the top. Or just like that. Come on, Sam, I need to focus. I'm actually using my phone to, uh, to film because I don't have a my um, my other camera died on me. And <clears throat> before that, the one the one the really good one that I had was stolen. So I'm trying to make do the best I can. I love to make videos, I love to share what I do, so sometimes there's compromises in order to do that. And that's alright, we can live with it. So that's what we got so far. I think what I'm going to do is kind of make an indentation here. Like this. And I'm going to take some more clay. I really like this air dry clay. It's it's really it's just like marvelous. It's not much different, and it's it's actually um, seems to be about the same price. Yeah, I want that to be about that size, and then I'm going to roll it at the top, so it's kind of cone shaped like that. And now this time, when I attach these two pieces, I'm going to score them just so that they'll be really really good join. And I score this. And then I'm gonna, you see how I did that? I got water here, I'm gonna get it wet. And wet. And I'm gonna put those two pieces together. And maybe take a ball tool and kind of bring that in. I'm getting in the back. Now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little bit here. I'm just basically playing because you know sometimes you have to do this when you're creating. I'm going to bring it over like that. 
and kind of touching there. Can you see that okay? And then I'm going to take this side here and bring it down. And sometimes it's, if you're bending like that, you can wet there a little bit. You can take maybe a, uh, let's see, the back of a paintbrush and hold it up under there and just pull that down so it's touching there. See that? And then you can kind of blend it in so it becomes one. And then I'm going to take another bit of clay and roll it off screen because I don't have a lot of room here on the set. So you have to bear with me, okay? And I'm going to, let's see, maybe put it like there and bring it around. And I'll terminate it there and have it kind of blend in there. And then blend it in to the upper part of the root. Like that. Then you can take maybe a ball tool and you can Run that in there and make the hole go through. So you got a little hole there. And do that also up here. Well, it's, you know, it's a very kind of fairy kind of thing going on. You see that, right? Let me go blend it in at the bottom up here with doing the bottom part of the house. Sometimes using a ball tool or some kind of tool is better than your hands because your hands might be too big. <clears throat> and just blend that all in. Then we got this. This real, it's really a fairy thing going on here. There's fairy roofs, you know, fairy houses and roofs and all that stuff. That, they're all kind of like that. They, they're kind of fun like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this off to the side here for a minute. And I'm going to get a nice piece of, nice chunk of clay here. Roll it into a ball. Like this. And I'm going to press it down on the table to kind of flatten the bottom. And this is going to be the base for the very house to sit on. Be like a little hill, you know? And it looks like this. You can shape it how you like, and press that down on the table, make it nice and flat, and then maybe kind of flatten it on the top with your finger like that, and then on the bottom of the house, you can uh, score it, and score the top of the base, like the brush, a little bit of water, a little bit of water, and kind of twist it while holding it gently. You don't want to switch the house, right? So you just want to make it kind of gentle, twisting motion. And then you can take like a ball tool and you can just go around the house and blend it in to the base.
Yeah. I kind of like that. Put that in there a little bit. Okay, let's see where we're at here. Turn around. Okay, that's not bad. Okay. Now, I think what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to fill this in right here. And make it all look like one house with two funny roofs. Like that. You see that okay? Yeah. And then I'm gonna take my ball tool and clean it off and Put in, carve in a little doorway right here. Let's carve that in like that. And if you just go over it lightly, you can kind of smooth it out a little bit. Then you can take like a sharp tool. Well, you know what I might do? Just take my brush, you know, wipe it off so it's not doesn't have much water on it and just smooth this out in here a little bit. Let's smooth it out a little bit. Kind of rough right now. Okay, that's better. Yeah, I like that. And then you can take like a sharp tool, like this is kind of sharp, see? We can play off of it. And maybe make a little outline for the door. Kind of smooth that out a little bit. And then take the tool and carve lines in the door to make it look like it's an old wood door. Like that, okay. And then you can also take a little tiny bit of clay, a little ball of clay. And I'm going to have to do this off camera, but I'm, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this little ball of clay right here. See, can you see that? Right there? I'm going to get it wet. Not that wet. All right. And I'm going to get the door wet a little bit and touch it with water. And I drop that door knob. That's the door knob. Right on the door. See that? Because you can't really store something that small, but if you wet both parts, they'll stick pretty good. That's my experience anyway. So now we got a loop door in there. And uh, you know what I'm going to do? Let's hope my clay doesn't dry out too much. I'm just going to wet it a little bit with a brush. Around it. You could also spritz it with water if you, you know, if you use a water bottle. But I don't recommend getting it soaking wet. You know, just, just a little bit wet so it doesn't dry out too much on you. Okay. Now, you can take like a little ball of clay like this. It would help to have a washcloth or something for your hands. If you, um, Shape it to be like a little D. See? Looks like a D, a backwards D. Um, you could put it on here. You might want to score. So let's go ahead and score it. It's good to make things that last, you know. And then when you're older and 
I still have it because it held up. It did a good job. It's always a, it, it's always good to make things that have special integrity, you know. So let's press that into into place. So we got we got a nice little door set there now. Cut that in nicely. And then we'll maybe make a couple more stairs. Move a little ball. Move a little ball. Press it flat. Decide where it's going to go. And go there. Okay. So, let's store it here. And on the step. A little bit of water, a little bit of water. Press it into place. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And we can probably do one more stair. We can probably get one more stair on there. A roll of the ball. Press it kind of flat, like that. And where it's going to go. We'll go right by here. Score it on the step that you made. Wait it. Wait it. And press it into place. Like that. And then if you gently, 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 so everything's all wet and muddy right now, so you want to be really gentle, gentle with it, just pick it up and Blend it in as best you can. Like that. And set it back down and it'll be alright. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take little tiny balls of clay, like this, or little balls, and squish them so they're flat like that. And I just made a whole bunch of them before coming back on. Then what you can do is you can kind of roll, roll the petal like this. It's a petal. I'm making flowers. You get one like that. You see that? And you take another one and you roll it on that one you just did. So it looks like that. And you can make uh, several of those, and you can just put them around. And so you do want to score if you can. You know, try to score if you can. And uh, because that'll make it a lot stronger. A little bit of water. And then just put these little flowers around. Uh, the uh, house. Make another one. And if you want, you can also, with a damp brush, wipe off most of the excess, but just get the, the petal a little wet before you roll it. Like that. You roll it like that. Just like that. Wet another one. And then roll it around that. So it looks like that. Can you see that okay? I know it's a little fuzzy. The camera's having a little bit of trouble focusing. But we're going to get it. And add another pedal here on that side. Like that. And then maybe one more on the other side. Like that. And then you can just sort of squish them together in the bottom, in the bottom. So it looks like that. And then you can take your knife and score it. And score it where it's going to go. Get a little bit of water and brush and wet it, wet it. 
and then just gently press it in and kind of blend it in. But if you go around and do several flowers, So, you can add vines, you can, I'll show you how to make a leaf, you can take a, a, a small ball of clay like this, my hands off a little bit, and uh, roll it into like a cone shape like this, kind of like this, like that, so it's kind of flat, and you can take, make sure your sculpting tool is clean, and you can put like a little indentation in it like that, and you can put little lines like that in it, and then you can just uh, find find some place to put it. You at this point when it's this small like this. Um, you can just use water to kind of glue it in place. And you just sort of press it in there. And you can, like, curve it a little bit. So it's more natural. And so, get creative with it. I'm going to go off screen for a minute. And I'm going to do some of this, but you, you see how I'm doing this, and you're going to do some on your own, and then we'll come back. Okay, so I've been busy, and you can see, I put in all kinds of flowers and leaves, and yep, and you can do the same thing. Now I want to take some time and go around and smooth everything. Oh, we need a window. Yep, we'll take a ball tool here. And put in a little window here. If the clay is real wet, it, the, um, there'll be some suction. And uh, you have to kind of move the thing around a little bit. That'll be a nice little window there. And maybe we'll put a window in the back, or maybe two windows in the back. So, one here. Okay. And here. So the main thing you want to do is just make sure that when you're applying your flowers that you score when you can and use water and uh, blend them in really good at the bases, you know, at the, at the bottom, um, just to make sure they're nice and secure. And then, and then also smoothing uh, will help with that um, because you're using water and water kind of melds everything together so um so yeah and i mean this is this is a fun thing to do uh it's relaxing you just want to take your time go around and not with a lot of water but with some and just uh your brush slightly damp and uh just take your time, no rush, maybe get a cup of tea and, you know, if you drag your brush, drag it in like that. If you go like that, it puts marks on it. So just um, kind of drag it into the work and, you know, you might use uh, a smaller brush. And if you, you can use a smaller brush to kind of Get the little holes and stuff. Mm -hmm. 
get in between the roof parts and just take your time and go around and and then so I learned also I you know with Marblex which was my you know clay of choice for many years um, you know I could heat it up in the oven for a half hour or so on, on a warm setting and dry it out enough to put a finish on it. And I did that the other day with one, one of the sculptures I did. I can't, I actually don't recall which one it was. But it worked out, and um, it's fine. It, it works out fine. Just for a half hour. Not, you, you just want it uh, dry to the touch on the surface. That's what you're trying to achieve. You don't, you don't want it to dry all the way. You want it to dry slowly. It'll dry slowly. Um, so... That will just dry the surface and then the, uh, and allow you to be able to put a finish on it. So, uh, so after you're done with all the smoothing and blending and making sure everything is secure and blended in properly, put your oven on a warm setting, put your fairy house on an oven safe dish, and let it dry out in the oven for about a half hour. And then we'll come back and put a beautiful finish on it. But make sure you do a really good job on the, on the smoothing. Make sure it's, you know, really nice. Be patient. Do a good job. And we'll come back. Okay, so the house is pretty much dry now to the touch. And... The surface is dry, so we're going to go ahead and paint it, and uh, you can, we're going to paint it black, because that's going to be the base coat to the finish we're going to do today. So, uh, just uh, go around, use a soft bristle brush, so that it doesn't leave a lot of brush marks in it, and go around and paint it two coats, and work it, the paint, into all the details of the sculpture, into the flowers, into the, you know, deep recesses of the flowers. You might have to use a small brush, but do that, and then we'll come back after you've done two coats. Okay, we're back with our black house and fairy house, and we're ready to go. We're going to use Johnson's Paste Wax and Pearl X Pigments in a variety of colors, and I'll Put a, a tool and supply list in the video description. I'm going to use a brush mostly here. I'm going to get some wax on my brush. Dab it a little bit. Dab it off a little bit. And I think I'm going to do the roof in duo red blue. So when I, when I dip into the duo red blue, I also dab my brush off on the table just to kind of subdue it a little bit and then I start to put it on and kind of looking for an antique age style or whatever um, so I'm just I'm just uh, not looking to cover all the black that's for me you can do what you want but that's what I like um, then, then what I do is I, I often do not go and like wash my brush out. Um, I dip into the wax and wipe it on a rag. Um, I'm going to put bronze on the house. I'll get a little bit more wax going here. And I'll dab it on the table. Do... Bronze on the house itself. Oh, that's a little bit heavy. I didn't mean to go that heavy with it, but that's all right. That's okay. It worked. It worked out. Looks all right. And then I'm going to do. Uh, clean my brush really good, so I'll go into the wax. Instead of going to the sink, I'll 
use the wax and the rag in my lap and get some wax and I think what I'll do is a little I'll do a mixture of colors on the uh, on the flowers. I'll do purple. Purple's nice. Um, might do uh, red russet's a pretty color. I might do some red russet, get some wax and a little bit of red russet, dab it on the table and you see it's a nice bright color. I can even go over and do the flowers with that too. And uh, it's going to be really, really pretty. Let me just oops, put some room here. So the red russet is really pretty on the flowers. I like that. Need some more of that. No more wax. A little red russet. Dab it on the table. And then go over the flowers. And then, uh, then clean your brush really good after certain colors like the uh, red russet. You gotta really clean it good because it'll, uh, it'll go into the other colors that you're using. So, keep that in mind. Um, gonna get a little bit of spring green. And a little on my leaf and on my vine. And I have a couple of leaves in the back here as well. And I have, I have one right here also. There. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's working out. So I'm gonna clean my brush really good again. Okay, so uh, I'm doing, I think I'm gonna do the door in the Reflex Violet, which is my favorite color of all. Oh, and I'm almost out too. I almost don't have any. And but I'm gonna try it. There's the door in purple. And I'm going to do, uh, clean my brush really good, and let me see if I maybe make that purple a little bit brighter there. Well, it's still kind of dark. Oh well. And, uh, I'm going to do the steps. The steps are, like, almost covered with flowers at this point, but I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit of the silver and... Try to do those anyways. There's only two showing at this point. So, but, we'll see it anyways. And, um, now what I'm going to do, which is really just makes everything really work nicely before, one second, I'm going to do the doorknob in bronze. So let me get a little wax. This is antique bronze. It's also like one of my favorite colors. There's the doorknob. There it is. Now it's bronze. Okay. Now I'm going to take my finger and put it into the wax. Get plenty on my finger and then I'm going to swirl my finger with my thumb. And then I'm going to dip it into the bronze, like that, and then I'm going to swirl that with my thumb, and you see it mellows it, and then I'm going to pick up my house, and I'm going to highlight the flowers with the bronze. And... It's really pretty. I don't know if the camera does it justice, but you can do a little bit on the leaf as well. A little bit more wax. And every time I dip into the bronze, I 
I uh, swirl my finger, you know, like that with my thumb. And, and you know what the clay so the clay is still a little bit soft. Oh yeah, you can you can put it on like you can put it on the house, on the roof too, you put a little bronze up there. The house is kind of still somewhat moist. I don't wanna disturb it too much. Um but when it's dry you can take a soft cloth and buff, you can buff it, and it will be so pretty, oh, the shine will come out, because this is paste wax. And that's the whole idea of paste wax, you see, is to uh, bring out a sheen. I'm not going to do it now, because, it, you know, this clay, it's, it's, it's delicate right now. When it dries, it'll be fine, and you can buff it. And just buff it gently, you know, here and there. But, yeah. So, wow, that was quite a, quite a job to make this little guy. But it worked out really good, and it's a very pretty piece. What do you think? Well, a lot of detail. So, that's about it. Um, I hope you liked the video. This is my last video of the year, I think, and... Um, I may not be able to post it until tomorrow, or upload it until tomorrow, uh, but um, please give the video a like, share it with your friends and family, and on social media if you can, and uh, leave me a comment, tell me what you think of the video and how it went, and uh, subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of content. And Happy New Year. Have a great night.